this is Geneva and today we're going to do a, a groove drum session. Well this one might be a, ton, a tango one, it may be a chili pep, ch hot jalapeno one. That means red, red hot jalapeno one means red hot spicy jalapeno one means very complicated. And complicated, if you're just learning words, it means hard. Today, we're going to learn how to go like this. We're thinking, how, how ca can I do this? It's very complicated and fast. I'll just slow stuff first and you'll get it through. This is the ride. This is the kick. I'll tell you the rest when I get into it. kick into it and use the ride as well so now we are going to do 60 bpm of what I, we were reviewing like for you it is wide like this then go like kick I'll break it down moment whilst I'm waiting whilst you whilst you're waiting for the next part I'll demonstrate the next part for you if you have a drum kit then come practice it with me but if you don't have a drum kit and you only have a bedtime pillow then just use your bedtime bed pillow and put it on a stool and then you, if you don't have a drum stool, just use a normal seat and start practicing. Pretend your pad is a drum kit. Like I pretend my pad is a snare when I'm doing my... We'll get to that later, as I was saying. So it's like... This is the kick. These are the tongs. This is a floor tom. You're thinking, if it's a floor tom, why is it on the floor? I can tell you a reason why it's called a floor tom. Because it's the lowest tom. Like, a few feet before the, the kick. Yeah. You don't need no hi-hat for this. You don't need the 
this tom and the floor tom for it. Thanks for watching this drum session. I hope you enjoyed. Remember, or if I haven't told you, like, comment, subscribe so we can do another drum session. See you next week, y'all. I just got it to my head and I can play it. I dreamed of it. Last night, I dreamed I was on stage and I was very famous at drumming girl. Got the inspiration from the groove. Mm -hmm. From my dream. I dreamed up of it when I was on stage doing this. I was on salsa tour with my friends. My friends were playing instruments when we were in a girl band called, called Girl Power. No, it wasn't called Girl Power. It was called, um, I don't remember what the group was called, but it had some squiggles for an autograph sign that had the group's name, had the band's name. I don't know what it was, but I was still seven years old. It was just a band. We were playing jazz music. We were playing styles for music at the end. We were playing hip hop music. We were playing pop music. The best one I was good at was the salsa music. And they actually had two rides on the drum kit. They had two rides on the drum kit. It sounds so real. They had two rides on the drum kit. One ride there, one ride right there. So now I'm gonna to explain to you how I thought, dreamed that up. It sounded so salsa that really, it sounded catchy. And the audiences were like, yeah, 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 yeah. When I was like, to the drum kit, a new one. This one! I've been with this drum kit for about a few months now. Then I'm gonna... Quite like this. I'm still working on it. for five months and um, it was my dream thing Be being able to go on the kit and being able to sit at home practice speaking of practice people, everybody needs to practice you practice not just to finish your job, you practice for a reason. You practice to be what professionals are now. Professional. And one day, you'll get to be drumming on the stage. People will be asking for your autographs. Uh, I hope no one tries to tattoo on the autograph. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Dad, look, how surprised are you? Whoa! It's gonna be recording my double stroke 
Jackson Guys Band. <lacht>